So today I'll be reviewing this ThinkScan 609. So right out of the box you get this nice little box. It's got plastic still around it. And you get this TPMS tool. This activates TPMS sensors. So this is kind of just thrown in for you. It's King Bolin. There's nothing real special about this, but it is nice that they include this for free. All you do is go up to your TPMS, you'd hit the button. This one doesn't have any batteries, so you go right here. Okay, so it takes a 9 volt battery. Kind of funny, but I already have one. It's the exact same one, EL50448. Whenever it's going, you'll see that. Okay, so if we take a look at the back, sports full OBD2, read clear codes, I am readiness. Uh, let's see, it's got a big display, 3.5 inches, supports multiple languages. The 600, which is the yellow one, can do ABS and SRS. The 601, the blue one, can do ABS, SRS, and ECM. And then this one can do all those plus TCM. Looking at this scan tool, it's more of a mid-range scan tool. It's not for just the basics, but it's made for more people that are wanting to become more professional. Okay, so let's go ahead and just open it up. The packaging actually feels pretty nice. Okay, so just opening up here. It opens from the top. Go ahead and pull that out. So we get a booklet. There's our scan tool. USB with a memory card slot. You get your OBD2 port. And that's it. So it's not much in the packaging, which is fine. It just matters what the scan tool can do. So we'll go ahead and pull this out. Okay, so if you look here, it plugs in like an old school monitor. Got these little twist tabs here. You just want to snug them down. Okay, for Amazon, we can only take five minutes, so I'm gonna try and just rush you through it. Now here we have your OBD2. You can scan through your modules, so if you want to mess with your transmission, your ABS, your airbags, or SRS, or um, your PCM, which is just your regular ones, you go here, service, so you can reset your uh, airbag light, your ABS light, your TPMS light, oil light, do all that there. You have uh, this to review, so if you have any freeze frame data saved, you can review it. You can look up actual codes. You can print. You can go to help. Helps just got a little bit in there. Setup, if you're in the states, we use Imperial, so you'll just go down there and hit Imperial. If not, go to Metric. Uh, you can change the language. You can turn off the beeper if you'd like, but none of that's too important. So let's go up here to the OBD2. It'll go through all the protocols. This next one will pass because that's the protocol for this car. Now here, it will tell you the DTCs and the ECU. We have one, readiness complete, eight, readiness not complete, zero, and then not supported, two. So as long as you don't have any non-complete ones, you'll pass emissions unless they uh, have one of the tools that actually gauge your exhaust fumes. So we'll hit OK. We can go to read codes. And in here, a cool little feature is you have an orange light for pending DTC. So this hack actually isn't triggered enough to become a permanent DTC. 
if it's permanent, it'll light up red. And if you have no DTCs, it'll illuminate green. So at a glance, you know what's going on already. Now we'll go back and go to your IM readiness and check that out. And here, you wanna go since they were cleared. And as you can see, everything is okay or not available. If it says INC or incomplete, then you know that you won't pass emissions and you can go in and figure out which system it is and fix it. So if it was the auction sensor monitor, you'd know you'd go have to go in there and fix it and you'd also have trouble codes for it. You got data stream. And this is where this tool really shines. You can actually graph your data. So if you want to check your O2 sensors, this one's got a bad uh, uh, sensor two, so downstream sensor. Uh, we'll do that. You pick the streams you want. You can pick up to four, or you can just pick however many you want and hit the back button right there. If you hit the back button, whatever you got listed, it'll graph. So we want our long term. As you can see, it puts like a little V next to it. That's how you know it's marked. So now we have two and just, we'll do, we'll do throttle position. And voltage. Now, as you can see here on the right, it'll tell you what color is what. So our short term is red, our long term is black. Our blue is TPM, or throttle position, and our yellow is the voltage. You can go to view all items. If you go here, it's just gonna show you literally all the data pids you have. Down here in the bottom left, you can see I have 37. If you wanna hurry through the list, you can hit right or left, and it'll jump down a whole page. Uh, it tells us we're in closed loop and then as you can see we have all of our normal data PIDs you would expect to get okay we're about to go put this thing to the test I'm gonna go out and plug a ABS sensor that way we get a light and see if it can actually read what's wrong with it Okay, so we'll go to that second one there, scan, and we unplug the passenger side front wheel speed sensor, and we'll just get Mazda. And it's going through it quicker than what it normally would, so we'll go to ABS, and we'll read the fault code code is on right front wheel speed sensor so we know exactly what the problem is with the scan tool and as you can see it says a permanent DTC now what we're going to do is we're going to erase it make sure it can clear out the ABS code now that we replug it up okay now that I went and plugged it back up we'll go back back or erase the codes okay it says it was done successfully so we'll go to read and we already have the no DTCs and it says it clearly right there so it's able to clear the codes which is very important okay so my final thoughts on this thing for a a uh, scan tool that's under $300 that can has all the capabilities this one does it is a no-brainer this is what you want if you want to take it past the little DIY you know $20 $30 $40 scan tool and invest in something that's able to do more functions especially your airbags your brakes and all that which are very important and you don't want to go and pay someone else to do it especially your brakes those are usually the easiest ones to fix and then this will let you clear the code, so that way if they don't clear automatically, you can clear them with this. Uh, this is more towards the professional side of a scan tool. 
and it has everything you would need as an enthusiast or even someone just starting out as a mechanic 